right. What's good going morning, on? Dylan. Uh, good morning. It's great to see you. Yeah, good Hoping to see you. Hoping for a too. great day. Yeah. And I'm just interested in uh, Parkville Market, all those new, oh my new gosh. dishes. It I know. Good. It sounds really good. And we have Middletown Pride Fest going on today. Going on. So that's going on. We also have something I was sent to from the Bill Memorial Library. They're going to have organizational tips for folks with and without ADHD. Uh, that's a seminar going on at 1 o'clock today. Great. Uh, personally, are you organized? When I was in school, high school, college, not so much. Okay. Last couple years I've gotten better, but okay. I feel like if you went to check my desk right now, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> but I feel like I've gotten better. How about you? Yeah, we were talking about this before. I mean, I think if you look in my closet, you wouldn't think I was organized, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I know where everything is. I feel right? I am. Yeah, as yeah, long as you know. I know where everything is. But uh, yeah, so Dylan, if you're heading out today, as you mentioned, it is going to be a pretty decent day, but it's going to be totally different than yesterday. Mm. Yesterday, we got to 94 degrees in the Hartford area at Bradley Internet. National Airport today we're expecting only to be really in the low 60s completely different after a front push through plus we have this northeasterly breeze too that is making it feel pretty chilly so this is just in the last 24 hours temperatures have dropped uh, anywhere from really 15 to 18 degrees for a lot of the state satellite radar showing us though at least the rain really has pushed away so we haven't really seen too many showers out there this morning it is going to be dry for today just much cooler and breezy as well and same thing for tomorrow it will be slightly warmer for tomorrow. Uh, a couple showers are also possible in eastern Connecticut tomorrow as this area of low pressure kind of just hangs out to the east of us. It might come close enough to our border to see some showers and then cool weather will start to stick around for early next week. By cool, I'm talking temperatures in the low 70s. So our normal high temperature this time of year is about 76 degrees in the Hartford area. All right, speaking of, yeah, that 94 degree record warmth in the Hartford area yesterday, we got to 80 one degrees in Bridgeport. It was very, very warm, very mild for early June. All right, here's a live looking mystic. A lot of people out and about starting to get out there, getting that day started. Early warning pinpoint Doppler showing us nothing going on right now as far as any precipitation. Temperatures across the tri-state, across the northeast, you can see are in 68 in New York City, 59 in Hartford, 52 in Boston. So once again, we've had some cooler air spilling in from the northeast. Temperatures only in the 50s. Grab that sweatshirt, grab that warm jacket, uh, more of a light jacket heading out the door. Wind speeds coming in once again, uh, breezy 9 to 16, even 15 miles per hour and gusts up to 22 miles per hour for southeast Connecticut. We do have this coastal flood advisory. Just want to mention real quick for southern Fairfield County for this evening uh, through the overnight hours. Yeah, here's a look at our future cast peaks of sunshine for this afternoon. And then you can see moving into the overnight hours, skies will clear and into tomorrow morning we see some sunshine but it doesn't last the entire day then we've got these clouds pushing back in uh, from the east once again with that low pressure system that could bring some showers to eastern portions of our state so it really just depends how far west this nudges but that's what we're really watching for now and then into monday also looking like a decent day some partial sunshine maybe a sprinkle in eastern connecticut otherwise though uh, temperatures will be back in the 70s that allergy forecast this cloudy kind of unseasonably cool weather actually lowers the allergens. So you can see for today, tomorrow, and Monday, we're at a moderate level of oak, mulberry, and maple trees. Also, Tropical Storm Arlene. Uh, this is the first tropical storm of the hurricane season, which kicked off on June 1st. So you can see wind speeds 40 miles per hour, uh, very to the west of Florida. It's expected to stay there for the most part, not impact us here in the United States, and weaken through the day today, possibly back to a tropical depression. All right, for the day ahead, temperatures in the 60s. Once again, a good amount of cloud cover. Seven-day forecast shows you improvements for Monday and Tuesday. We'll be back in the 70s. Wednesday, a little bit cooler. Another area of low pressure. Looks like it may impact us with some showers. Thursday and Friday, back in the 70s, so with some partial sunshine. And of course, we're always thinking about the weekend. It looks pretty optimistic at the moment, but we'll be keeping you posted. Dylan? Thanks, Lauren. See you soon.